the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly really special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by the respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. That is man on the planet putting that very distinction on the right side. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the world's heavyweight the world. Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. Oh, oh Superman punches true. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice loop and punch. Oh, straight punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice job by the defensive fighter. Shot there by the champ. Nice kick to the body. Well, the pleasant way to put it is that the fighters are respecting each other, feeling each other out, and managing risk, but really not much in terms of action thus far. No, they got to get going. I understand that when people are fresh, they're very scary. But you cannot be this cautious. Just misses there with the left. with the left kick. Two minutes have gone by here in round one. With conviction to the body. All right, single collar tie now. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Straight punch is true. 
minutes remain in the round. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Leg kick. Oh, cash money with that left hand counter. Nice punch to the head. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single count. Able to block that one. Oh, and he caught the kick. And now some separation. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Unable to land with that punch. Takedown defense holds up. Big knee land. Oh, beautiful counter. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Nice straight right lands. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Tries to work it into a takedown. Ten seconds to go in round one. What a fight so far. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. His nose is significantly damaged after his opponent's handiwork in that previous frame. It's smashed. It's smashed, John, and you see the cut on it. You see the bruising. What's, it's bad now, but in a couple days, it'll be much worse. Yeah. Because that's when you get the black eyes and you start to look like a freaking penguin. The guy is taking too many shots with his head. He's not doing a great job of moving his head off the center line. If he wants to win this fight, he has got to be smarter in his approach. And he is toughness personified, but you got to think that that nose, in terms of his breathing pattern, is going to start to give him issues as this fight presses on. Try to establish that jab. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. This whole fighter's starting to open up a little bit. some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. you got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Just over three minutes to go. Straight right hand, no good. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Whiffs on that offering. Oh! Could be the beginning. 
coming at the end here. Push kick there to the body. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Big knee lands right in the midsection. Goes to the switch kick and lands. You got that weapon in your arsenal? Right? It is a great strike, and I've done it a number of times. I actually threw it in both fights against Steve Emilch. First on the elbow. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Under two minutes here to go round two. And do a work with the jab. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Good jab there by the champion. Strong kick there. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice. Circling to his right. Big shot lands for both guys. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. 30 seconds to go in round two. Right. 20 seconds to go round two. 15 seconds. Nice feedback right hand, my goodness. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee land. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. <laughs> Missed with that attempt. <laughs> well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Straight punch, that is useful. Oh, he blocked that one. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really start now. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up. 
from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to oh. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's past him trying to find that shot again. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Nice leg kick. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Under two minutes now to go. Big power shot there. Oh, and he found the target again. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Just misses with the straight right. Able to check that kick as well. That's a big strike right there. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. but misses with the kick. Right on the button. Under a minute now to go. Oh, nice inside kick. He is going after that overhand right. to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Nice block. Oh, and he caught the kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. at the clinch. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Is every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with the fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you've got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so he continues to land and right on that cut. Getting a little bit hard to watch right now with all the blood pouring out. You know, sometimes you got guys that cut easily. You think the Diaz brothers, this guy gets cut, but it doesn't seem to be deterring him. He's still trying to fight, but he's got to make some changes. Oh! 
the celebration is on. One of the biggest wins in his UFC. Career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance.